Hey, here on Lifestyle Live, we have a policy of celebrating local artists. The Indianapolis Arts Center has the same policy, so it makes perfect sense that Shannon Bennett, Shannon Bennett and Michelle O'Halloran from the Indie Arts Center are here to talk about locally made Indies Fall Festival this Saturday at the Indianapolis Arts Center. Uh, Shannon, the stage is yours. Tell us what's happening Saturday. Yeah, so Saturday, noon to 5, we're going to have art activities for kiddos. We're going to have face painting. We're going to have um, pumpkin painting, which is a free activity, so every little kiddo gets to pumpkin to paint. Um, we're going to have 20-plus local artists. You can see we've got some art up here. We've got um, local artist Kate Hinshaw does mid-century modern paintings and paintings on ceramics. Um, let's see, who else do we have up here? Bob Ryberg, who is one of our faculty members, does ceramics. One of my personal favorites, and these are from my personal art collection, The Glass Pumpkins, is Sean Everett, who is our uh, director of, of adult programming right now. Um, and he makes these lovely glass pumpkins, and he just has a field of Meta's booth. It's and, wonderful. And presumably, these items will be for sale at the event. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Okay. Lots of fall items, um, artwork, ceramics, painting, metalwork, um, glass, a little bit of everything. And so we would be remiss. We've got the Indie Arts Center here. Michelle, tell us a little bit about some of the other activities coming up there. Sure. We have our fall classes that are well underway right now. Our, fall, our second session of fall classes starts this coming Monday. So there's still time to register for those classes if you want to take part in any of our vast uh, assortment of classes. Glass blowing, sculpture, painting, ceramics, photography, you name it. There's all sorts of classes available. Um, so those classes start this coming Monday. We have our fall art camps for teens, uh, youth and teens starting today at our Broderpool campus and starting next Monday at our Fisher's location which is at 106th and 69. So you can find out more information about those classes on our website as well. We have our, um, our, our newest community art space called Hillside which is on 22nd Street in downtown Indianapolis and um, we have our opening reception for that on October 21st with our with artist Gary G. So that is a free event for the public. You can come, there'll be art activities and art, art demonstrations happening that night. Um, we also have our Veterans Art Day, which will be November 12th. And that will be uh, free arts programming for veterans and active military members. So um, art, um, veterans and military members can come and take part in all sorts of art making activities free for that day. All of these things are available on our website. I'm, I'm impressed Michelle O'Halloran has committed the entire calendar <laughs> to the memory. Oh, so Shannon, where do we need to be Saturday? What time? Just wrap it up for me. Yep, Saturday at the Indianapolis Art Center in Broadable, 820 East 67th Street, noon to 5 p.m. Activities, art, food, tons of fun.